Hey everybody, I'm Scott Weichel. You're listening to My Kind of Country. Thanks for joining me on a Monday night. My special guest has got a beautiful new gospel project out, and we're here to talk with her tonight about it and play some of those songs for you and some other great things that she's got going on as well. It's a pleasure to welcome her back to the show. This is Rebecca May Lawless. Rebecca, how are you tonight? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, it's always a pleasure to talk with you. We enjoy their last visit, and it's good to have you back on again tonight. Thank you. <laughs> well, before we talk about your new music, i got to ask, uh, you've got some really wonderful and looks like very, very tasty jams that you are making now. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, um, this is something that um, my husband and I were uh, carrying around the country when we were out on tour before COVID shut everything down. And, and um, it's just amazing how uh, the way he would describe it was like it was like Black Friday. Everywhere we'd go, the people would swarm the tables for the jam, and then they would, um, and then they would be like, "Oh, well, maybe I need a T-shirt, and maybe I need a CD too." So they were coming for the yummy, and then the rest of the stuff they'd pick up while they were there. So that's, you know, that's kind of how that all started. So uh, since COVID has shut everything down um, this past year, I have sold so much jam. Oh my word, it's wonderful! I have shipped to 28 states out of the union so far. And um, it's just nutty how, how um, it was. Well, it's just an exceptional product. And um, so I'm grateful for the opportunity to help people, even though I haven't been able to do music for them. I'm still able to bring them some enjoyment, even while we're not doing a whole lot of music yet. Well, that's great. Now, is this, are these jams that you make yourself? I do not have time to make them. I pick them up from a friend of mine, and um, she supplies me with my flavors and my cases, and and I run with them, and then she supplies me more when I need more. So it's wonderful. It's all wholesome ingredients, um, have uh, sugar flavors and no sugar flavors, and that includes uh, no artificial sweetener, too, which is wonderful. Well, fabulous. I'm uh, I'm going to have to order some of that. I'm, I'm looking at the peach. I love peach jam. So. <laughs> And now, yeah, and that one is exceptional. I mean, they all are, but that one, yeah. I'm not a huge peach lover, per se, you know, like a piece of peach, a piece of fruit, but this jam is just something else. I can't put it down when I open the lid. And um, you're in Michigan, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So that would be number 29 states out of the union, because I haven't shipped to Michigan yet. Well, all right. Put it, on, <laughs> put it down. We'll do it. That sounds great. <laughs> Folks, you, uh, if you want to get some of this wonderful jam, you can go to lawlessandmay.com, and uh, all those products are available there. And, of course, uh, Rebecca's beautiful music, and there's hats and T-shirts, all sorts of great things there. So make sure you go uh, check that out. We'll put that information on our Facebook page for My Kind of Country. Thanks. And uh, a new, uh, also, you're uh, doing a wonderful show, and, and uh, we are very proud to be one of the partner streams on our My Kind of Country Facebook page. Tell me a little more about that. Yeah. Uh, that just happened, um, again, during the COVID shutdown last year. And um, I was just kind of, you know, kind of figuring out a way to keep music going, um, you know, because I knew I was going to be creating a new CD, and I didn't want to fall off the face of the earth, and nobody knew who I was anymore. And um, so uh, just put a part of my house, I turned it into a um, studio area, and each Thursday it turns into a small TV station because I have a camera guy that comes here and sets up three different angles and um, just excited how that just all happened because uh, um, you know after a couple of shows it the light bulb went on and went let's do something of value for someone else not just be horsing around so the veterans I've always loved the veterans in the military um, my dad is a retired Air Force my brother is retired from the Navy and so it just kind of made sense, and, you know, having a heart for them. Um, so we started doing the shows uh, and connecting to a bunch of different veteran organizations each time we do our shows so that the veterans can enjoy it right at that moment as well. It's not a recording, which I love, because if they want to communicate, which some of them do, it's it, it's right then. It's that, you know, in that very moment. And uh, so just thrilled and grateful uh, how that's just taken off and um, – We'll have an announcement very soon for something very exciting happening. I can't say it yet, so you'll all have to follow me on Facebook or uh, connect with me on lawlessandmay.com, and you'll see that announcement coming up uh, probably within the next couple of weeks to a month, I would say. So, yeah, and I appreciate you guys for letting me connect to you each week. I'm grateful for that as well. Well, it's an honor. And uh, what, uh, what day and time is your show run again? 
That is Thursday evening, 7.30 Central p.m., 7.30 p.m. Central, and it's just for a short half hour, and um, we have a different guest in here uh, pretty much every week, and so that's exciting, and I will tell you this, and I just thought, I, I laughed. I laughed until I was about silly because, you know, the show is just something that has taken a life of its own. But I actually got to speak to Ralph Emery the other day in person, and um, and he is tentatively going to join me on a show in August. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am coming from probably the host of a lifetime coming to my little show, and I'm going to pick his brain. <laughs> so, yeah. Absolutely. The voice of country music, no doubt about that. And uh, you had uh, Kelly Nolf on your show recently. I've known Kelly for many, many years. She's a Michigan oh, wow. girl. <laughs> yeah. I seem to remember that, that you commented on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a sweet girl. I like her. She sure is. I've known her for, gosh, probably 35 years, and her sister Valerie and her cousin Brian, and uh, they used to have wow. a band called the Nolfs up here for many years. Oh, wow. That's remarkable. She's fantastic. Well, make sure you check that out Thursdays at 7.30 Central Time, and that's uh, you can just go to the My Kind of Country Facebook page and watch it every week. We'll have it on there, and if you miss it, it's archived there. You can always go back and watch it again, too. So, fabulous show. Well, a new gospel CD, and, uh, you know, it, it occurs to me as, as I talk about gospel music, um, you're not always breaking a lot of new ground because you, you cover a lot of the uh, very standard songs that have been done many times. However, for, for what I see, it's the interpretation. And what you've done here with these songs is absolutely beautiful. You've given them your own personal interpretation. And I know each one of these has a very special meaning for you. Thank you, and I'm just so thrilled that I was able to get that recording out, and um, I appreciate you playing it on your station. Well, it's an honor. The, the CD, folks, is called Love Lifted Me. There are five songs on here, and you can go to lawlessandmay.com and pick it up. And uh, tell me about the song, um, We Are Standing on Holy Ground. Yes, that one is my favorite, and I've wanted for years and years and years, probably ever since I heard that one, and I'm not going to give my age away, but the first time I heard that was in the 80s, and um, I never, I, I, I don't know, there's, it's very hard to find an actual recording of that. You can find some, but I was looking for a specific one of a lady that I had heard do it back in the 80s, and I couldn't find anything, so I remembered it because it stuck in my brain. And um, so when my producer and I were, were looking for songs, he said, so what songs are you considering? And I said, well, I don't care, but the only ones, I mean, I care, but you know, you know what I mean? But he, because he was wanting to pick some is what I was meaning. And um, I said, you pick what you want, and I'll tell you if I want to do that. But we have to, we must, no matter what, that song has to be on that CD. And so he agreed, and um, then we went back and forth on uh, the other ones, and of course we uh, agreed on a patriotic tune as well because of my show, and um, that is probably my that's probably one of my most favorite gospel tunes. Um, we are standing on holy ground, and uh, just something that I always wanted to record. So I'm super excited that I was able to finally get that on a recording. So yeah, you did a beautiful job, and it's my favorite on this Thank project too. That's why I wanted to talk about that one right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you. And we're, of course, going to play that for you tonight. And then, of course, you've done uh, The Old Rugged Cross and the title song, Love Lifted Me, and uh, Church in the Wildwood, and America the Beautiful, which, uh, again, I think needs to be heard right now. Yes, very much. So tell me a little bit about those as far as uh, what, what special meaning they have for you. Yes, the America the Beautiful, obviously, is because of my veteran show each week and um, just thought that something patriotic needed to be on my new CD because of that. And um, so that's the meaning behind that one. Love that song anyway. And then um, um, Love Lifted Me, that was my producer's pick. And I liked the song, but it wasn't in my brain. And when he was pitching me some songs that he thought should be on there, we agreed on Love Lifted Me because there's so much turmoil and there's just so much happening, you know, not just during COVID crazy, but just in life. And um, and it was so cool that the CD came out a week before Valentine's Day. And so it was spot on. And um, so that's the meaning behind that song is just trying to lift people up, you know, during these times that we're all in. And um, the Church in the Wildwood, I actually had never 
sung that song until I cut it on that CD. Wow. And it, it took me a few takes because, you know, sometimes when you hear a song or, or try to sing a song that you've heard only a couple of times in your life, you're like, I'm not sure that goes that way. <laughs> so that's kind of what happened with that one. I think it took me um, four takes to get that song down because I wasn't getting I wasn't getting the groove, and um, because I'd never sung it before. And so, but I'm glad that one's on there because I think a lot of people clap their hands and stomp their foot to that one in their car or wherever. And um, and then of course the. Uh, the Old Rugged Cross is my dad's favorite gospel tune, so I was like, yeah, let's put that one on there, too, because my dad will love that song when he hears it. Oh, that's great. Well, and I know, you know, you've had a lot of uh, turmoil in your life, and you've lost you lost your husband recently, and uh, so many things, but uh, the power of, of the Lord and the power of music uh, has really brought you through, and it's it's so wonderful to see you being so productive, and, and so many great people surrounding you and supporting your music. Thank you. Thank you very much. Man, that's great. Well, we are going to play some of those beautiful songs for you. The album is called Love Lifted Me. It's available at lawlessandmay.com. We will have that information on our Facebook page for you. And we'll put Rebecca's Facebook page on there, too. Make sure you go over there and give her a like and follow follow her. Make sure you get some of that wonderful jam. And, and of course, you've got a lot of other great products, too, available on your website, don't you? Yeah, I do. I do, yes. Not all of my brand-new merchandise is listed yet. But um, just so people know, um, I do have coasters, koozies, um, new T-shirts that are that are for my for my for me now because um, it's no longer the duet. Um, I do still sell a lot of the stuff um, that we had as a duet uh, for Jack and I. But um, I do have new merchandise. If you don't see it there, just ask me. I do have stuff. Fabulous, and of course, your uh, beautiful CDs, in addition to Love Lifted Me, are also available there too. All right, that's great. So, uh, well, we'll look forward to your big announcement and make sure you let us know. We'll make sure and spread the word for you. And uh, I, I really am very, very happy that uh, you are doing so well. And this is beautiful music, and I'm really excited to play it for my listeners tonight. Thank you so much, and I appreciate that you play it for your listeners, and I'm grateful. Thank you. Well, it's an honor. Your music will always have a home here on My Kind of Country. And, Rebecca, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate your time. All right. Here's some beautiful music from Rebecca May Lawless. Her album is called Love Lifted Me. You can get it at lawlessandmay.com. And you're going to enjoy these beautiful songs, folks, as we continue with My Kind of Country. Rebecca, thank you again. Thank you. I was sinking deep in sin Far from the peaceful shore Very deeply stained within Sinking to rise no more But the master of the sea Heard my despairing cry From the waters lifted me Now safe am I
listen to the clear ringing bells It's tone so sweetly are calling Oh, come to the church in the bell Oh, come, 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 come Come to the church by the Church by the wildwood. Oh, come to the church in the veil. No spot is so dear to my childhood as the little brown church in the veil. Oh, come, 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 come to the church.